Hello and welcome to Matt's B-Movie Reviews, a show that looks at cult films that may have escaped your radar. Now, this week this is a special edition because I've just been tagged in the horror movie challenge by the Geek Legion of Doom and I've got to answer 10 blood splattered questions on uh, the horror genre. I think I know a little bit about that. So let's get on with it and after I'm done why don't you answer the 10 questions in the comments below or create a response video. It's up to you really. Okay, number one, what is the first horror movie that you saw? Um, I think the first horror movie that I actually saw, um, my mother allowed me to watch it, was The Changeling with George C. Scott, which is a fantastic haunted house ghost story. Um, and I was allowed to watch it because I remember saying there was no blood or violence really in it. Uh, well, there's no excessive blood and violence in it, but it is a fantastic movie and uh, really chilling and atmospheric. Um, I'd probably actually hail that today as one of the best, probably the best haunted house movie ever made actually. Which I have reviewed, so <coughs> give it a watch. Question two, what is your favourite horror movie? I've got to say, um, he's already given the answer to this in the previous video if you watch it, Evil Dead 2, because I'm a massive fan of the Evil Dead movies. Yeah, the Evil Dead 1 is a masterpiece, I love that movie, but something about Evil Dead 2, the blend of horror and comedy, um, Bruce Campbell, the gore, the entire storyline, the setting, I don't know, it's just, it's almost a, a perfect movie, I, you know, I, it is for me, that's, I can't really say any more about it, Evil Dead 2 all the way. <laughs> so question three, what is my favourite subgenre of horror? Um, that's probably quite easy, I'd probably say it's the supernatural, uh, paranormal, whatever, subgenre of horror, you know, ghost movies, that type of thing, haunted houses. Um, I'm completely obsessed with anything ghostly, which probably comes from watching uh, Ghostbusters as a child, completely grew up on that, uh, and obviously that mixed in folklore tales and, and things like this. It's like entry level horror for ghost films right there. So anything involving a haunted house, uh, a haunted road, a curse, something like that, something unseen, the malevolent spirit I absolutely love, so uh, yeah, I'd have to go with that one. Question 4, what is the last horror movie to actually scare me? Uh, I can't honestly say, I remember when the, the movie Ringu came out, which obviously is The Ring, which got remade, um, that was pretty damn creepy and that freaked me out. I guess I'll just have to say Ringu, but uh, honestly I can't think of anything that's really freaked me out lately. Um, yeah. <laughs> Number five, favourite scream queen. Um, mm, yeah, okay. I'm not going to go with the obvious, like Jamie Lee Curtis or anything like that, but I'd probably say actually, what's her name? Um, Barbara Crampton from the Reanimator film. Uh, yeah, she's only the first one. Uh, and she was also in Castle Freak, From Beyond, and. Uh, the one with the robots, Chopping Mall. <laughs> yeah, she was uh, Yeah, she was pretty cool in them films, so I'd say, yeah, why not? Barbara Crampton is my favourite screamy queenie. Although I've not seen her in anything for years, but she was uh, quite a looker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a new concept in horror, or a new type of horror that I've got into. Um, I suppose that's like a new type of, like a subgenre that I've got into. I'm quite into the giallo. Uh, subgenre, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that's like the uh, Italian uh, thrillers that came out from the 70s and 80s, directed by like Mario Bava and uh, Dario Argento, else Bay of Blood, that type of thing. They're usually just kind of crime thrillers, but they're intensely gory. Every time I watch those, um, it's just I don't know, it's like a snapshot of the time, kind of. <laughs> I suppose that's one of my favourite types, right there. Yeah. Number seven, favourite on-screen kill or death, I suppose, would be, um, I was thinking about this earlier, but yeah, okay, it's going to have to be uh, Rhodes' death, I think it's called Rhodes, in uh, the original Day of the Dead, which came out in 1985, the year of my birth, thank you very much, um, <laughs> and that involves... Rhodes was the leader in this military bunker that was underground with supposedly the last of the human race inside but he's not a very nice guy and at the end of the movie he's staggering away and Bub shoots him I think um, come on Bub and he goes to open a door to escape from the uh, zombie behind him who's, who knows how to shoot a gun and he opens the door and there's just a corridor full of zombies who uh, just grab him and literally rip him in half <laughs> Oh, 
favorite series or franchise um a few years ago i would have probably said paranormal activity which people are going to shudder at watching this video so i do apologize although i thought they had some good ideas in those movies but they've gone off on one now so don't worry about that screw it i'd probably say uh my favorite franchise would probably be the romero trilogy which i'm counting it as a trilogy because night dawn day brilliant movies um Land, I'd maybe count Land in there because that is actually a really entertaining zombie movie. Not at its best, but it wasn't actually that bad a movie. It was, you know, people balk at it because it had a higher budget and obviously the studios got involved and all this type of thing. But really, that's the most faithful movie he's made since the original trilogy. Um, and then after that we've got whatever, Diary, Survival. But yeah, I'd say the first three, maybe four, let's call it a quadrilogy then, shall we? Um, is my favourite franchise, why not? Favourite horror director? Um, okay, this is going to be a staple answer that I've said for years because... I can hear other directors' names coming to mind, but I'm going to say this anyway, Sam Raimi. Um, not necessarily a horror director, but he made my favourite horror movies, Evil Dead 1 and 2. Um, Drag Me to Hell was a damn fine horror movie and there's just something about his use of camera you know you've got the old shaky cam, rammer cam, whatever the cam goes through windows, it twirls around people's faces it really plays, it can play the horror element really strong it can play the comedy element really strong and I've followed him through some of the movies in his career that I would have had no interest in watching under any other director's chair or whatever but yeah I'd say he's my favourite director I would like to see him produce more horror movies, um, but he is coming back with Ash vs Evil Dead, so what can I say? Okay, and ten, last but not least, what is the worst horror movie I've ever seen? <laughs> this is extremely difficult to answer because, as you know, I watch a lot of these B-movie cult movies. Some are genuine classics, other movies have titles that are just that ridiculous. I've had to find out for myself how bad they actually are. One second, um, I'm going to grab this. Oh, right, I'm going to go with this movie because I couldn't even be bothered reviewing it after I saw it. It just left me empty and just thinking, I can't actually get that time back. That's 90 minutes of my life. That is gone forever. <laughs> and that movie was Kentucky Fried Zombies, <laughs> which has the alternative title of something like Diner, get it? So I picked this up in the pound shop. It's typically bad, and I mean really, really bad. Um, it's a zombie movie, I suppose. Let's go watch internet movie database or something because the movie was that bad. I never want to see it again. I don't know why I've still got the DVD because the plan was to shoot it with a shotgun or something, but maybe I will review it and do that. But it's just, it, ugh, just whatever. Go watch the movie or don't. It's horrible. <laughs> Right, so that's it. I've answered all of those 10 blood splattered questions as best as I could. I'd be interested in seeing what your responses are to it because uh, a few of those I really had to scratch my head and think about. Um, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? So please leave your responses in the comments below. If you want to post a video response, maybe post it on my Facebook like page, which I'm always pushing. So uh, I'll put the link in the description for you there. So thanks again for Geek Legion of Doom for tagging me in their horror challenge. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye.